welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about Instagram likes, but hold it right there. I want you to note this disclaimer right here. Instagram likes and getting likes on your content is not the be all and end all of everything with respect to doing business on Instagram. That means that getting likes by no means is a measure for getting followers, the right quality of followers or getting paid clients or sales from Instagram. This disclaimer I feel is really important because I want to help you get more likes for the right reasons, not for stressing you out. So that's the reason I'm putting it out for you right here. But now why am I talking about Instagram likes? Because they still contribute to overall engagement. And my goal is to help you increase your overall engagement. And one part of it is Instagram likes. So why not? Let's work on your Instagram likes today. As in how can you optimize your content to increase your likes on this amazing social media platform called Instagram. So let's not wait and let's just dive right into today's video. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you five very important things you need to keep in mind to increase your overall Instagram likes, be it on your posts, your IGTVs, your Reels, X, Y, Z. Overall, these concepts are very important, so be mindful of them and definitely improvise this according to the piece of content you're creating. Okay, the first tip from me for you is to always remember to keep this in mind that people like people. So your feed should have real human beings in terms of content. What I mean to say by this is that don't include just graphics or just text-based stuff. Have real people, real pictures in there. Now these pictures can be yours in case you're a personal brand or a combination of you, your team, your employees. And if nothing of this works, then you can also have some stock photos here and there, but definitely do give credits from wherever you are picking up your pictures. But other than that, it's always best to actually showcase yourself, your team, which is behind the business, and your clients and customers via social proof, via testimonials, via clients wearing your products if you have a product-based business. So what I mean to say is don't just do content that is purely text-based, purely graphical, purely content that has a lot of text basically. Instead, improvise and work on your strategy by including more visuals and more real people into your content strategy because that is going to be a game changer when it comes to Instagram likes. Generally, people tend to like content which has real human units because they can relate to those people in different kinds of circumstances, wearing different kind of stuff, which is your end goal, right? So focus on getting more real people on your feed, period. So my second tip for you here is to get more likes on your Instagram content is for you to post at a time when your reach is highest, that is, maximum people who you want to see your content are there on Instagram, browsing through the app and scrolling through the app. But how will I know when most people are active, Basil? So the answer to this is basically very, very simple. Just go to your Instagram insights. In there, you'll find an option to go to your audience. And from there, just scroll down and you'll be able to find the exact times and the exact days your audience is highly active. It gives you the data of your current audience, that is your current followers. So ensure that you keep that in mind that you're posting at a time your audience is active on Instagram, that is maximum of your audience is active on Instagram, but also be mindful of the kind of content you're putting out. If it's heavily educational, probably 10 p.m. in the night is not going to solve those problems and people are not in the mood of consuming educational content then. So pick the content bucket, know when your audience is highly active and then club the two. If you feel that, okay, your audience is active from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., but your content is slightly more on the educational front, go in for 8 p.m. than 10 p.m. If your content is light and it's more about personal stuff, then absolutely you can go in for 9.30 p.m. as well. So whenever your audience is highly active, and it's showing you that on your Instagram insights, ensure that you post around 20 to 30 minutes before that time. Say your audience becomes highest at 6 p.m., then post around 5.30, 5.40, and that will be good for the algorithm to actually showcase that content when your audience becomes active. That is my second tip for you. And in short, it's very, very simple. It's just one metric you need to see, and you can simply go into your insights for this and know when exactly your audience is active. And now I want you to hold it right there because I don't want you to actually linger and wait for doing this. Just pause this video right here and go to your Instagram, go to your profile, tap on the three bars on the top right, click on insights, go to your insights, and then tap on audience. 
then simply scroll down and go to the time they are active section and there you can see which days or which hours of which day are the most active. Once you find that out, just comment below that okay 10 pm or 3 pm or 5 pm my audience is most active in the comments below. That will make me sure of the fact that you have done this exercise and now you will be keeping this thing in your mind. So guys, it's not just important for you to get maximum likes but this tip will also help you to get maximum engagement and of course maximum conversion because more and more people will see your content, they will benefit from it, they will convert to becoming your follower and eventually they will convert to becoming your client. So this is indirectly impacting your sales and hence can uplift that. So definitely do this right now, pause, go do it, come back and continue watching for the next three tips. 12 seconds later. Super, I'm glad you did that exercise. If you've not left a comment for me still, leave a comment and let me know which time is your audience most active. I would love to know this. And with that, I'm going over to the next tip. So my next tip for you is whenever you're posting any piece of content, even if it's like an IGTV or reel, a static post or a video post, whatever it is, whenever you're posting, just ensure that you don't post and ghost. Post and ghost means that you post and then you just leave the platform. Instead, whenever you're posting, just ensure that you have some time before posting and some time after posting. So although I recommend that 15 minutes before you post, you start engaging on this platform. Now, a lot of people ask me that how can we engage before we post anything because the post is not even there. So you can engage on Instagram by multiple ways. I've done a video on engagement. I will tag it here. But what I mean to say is essentially, you don't need to just engage in that piece of content. You can overall engage. So go out there and engage with your ideal audiences. Go to your previous posts and start engaging and replying to your comments. You've not replied till date. Go to your existing audiences and engage with them. So new audiences, existing audiences, or even past post engagement counts as engagement. So anything, basically any engagement you do counts as engagement. So what I mean to say is before you post anything, just engage for 15 minutes before that and 15 minutes after posting. So ensure that whenever you post something and you start getting engagement on it, you reply back to the comments instantly or you share it to your feed instantly. Or you actually go out there and do other forms of engagement. Even if you feel for the first 15 minutes after you've posted, you've not gotten many comments on this post to reply to, go to your previous posts, reply to those comments, like a few comments, go to your prospects, go to your current audiences. Basically engage with whosoever is possible. Of course, engagement also will be with your ideal audience, but there can be different types of ideal audience, people who are cold, people who are warm and people who are hot. So that way you can engage with any of them that counts as engagement, but ensure that whenever you're posting 15 minutes before that and 15 minutes after that you engage, that will help increase your reach. And if your reach will increase, that is you and your posts are getting more eyeballs. That means that you will get more likes and you'll get more followers, which are both important, but only if you're getting the right quality of things. The number essentially doesn't matter if you don't get the quality right. Now I'm saying that time and again because by no means I want to stress on the fact that getting likes by hook or by crook is right or getting followers by hook or crook is right. It's not. Only getting the right quality of likes and right quality of followers is what makes sense and even if it's less, it's absolutely okay. You don't need to fret about it. But here we are talking just about all the good ways, all the organic ways of getting more likes on your content so that it can boost your overall engagement. And that is something I totally love to talk about. Hence the reason we're talking about this topic today. Now, here's a quick pointer. Even if you don't have, say, 15 minutes before and 15 minutes after your posting, you can reduce the time and do it for 10 minutes also. So just ensure that you're engaging before and after. If you can do more than 15 minutes, that's always good. If you cannot do 15 minutes, but can do 10 minutes and squeeze in 10 minutes here and there, then please, by all means, do that. Overall, it will add up to your engagement and overall, it will add up to your likes. So it's critical and I would highly recommend you do that whenever, whenever you're posting any specific thing to your Instagram feed. Ideally, it's also good if you do that before you do stories, but every time you do stories, say you're doing stories three to four times a day and then you're posting a piece of content, it is not possible for you to engage five different times of the day. So I don't recommend that a lot because you don't have the time. But say if you're doing just stories on some day and no paid content, then you can implement this activity of doing engagement before and after you post a story. 
because you're not doing a post. I don't want you to waste your time on Instagram. That is not my goal. I want you to invest time on Instagram in order to grow your brand and business. And that's the reason even through whatever I share with you guys here on YouTube or whatever I coach people in my signature program, Slay Your Gram, my goal is to actually reduce the time that you're spending on this platform and instead spend more time doing what you love. But at the same time, by investing that little time on Instagram, you can actually grow and scale and get business. That is my whole aim. That is what I help students do. And in case you want to know more about it, we are currently running a launch for Slayogram. So you can simply go to slayogram.com ASAP and check out all the deeds for yourself. I don't recommend following any unethical ways of growing on this platform because it's amazing and it's possible to grow and scale and get clients ethically using Instagram. My students have done it. I have done it. So go check it out for yourself right away. It's slayyourgram.com. The link is also in the description and it's also on your screen. So go check it out right now. And with that, we will move to the next tip. Okay, so my next tip for you to get more likes or more comments for that matter is to ask for engagement. Yes, that's right. People are not going to like till you ask them to. People are not going to comment till you ask them to. So ensure you always have a call to action in whatever piece of content you're putting out, be it your feed or your story in this matter. Whenever you end a stories session or three to four stories that you've done, always have a call to action. Again, whenever you're posting anything to your feed, have a call to action. Sometimes it can be very simple as double tap if you agree or something of that, sort, which I don't strongly suggest as a great call to action, but it's certainly better than not having a call to action. So call to actions are super important. Ensure that all of your posts, all the content that you do always have a call to action because the call to action will make the person who's reading it remember that they need to take an action. And by default, before commenting, people tend to like the post as well. So here is where you will get a boost in your likes while at the same time getting more comments, getting more saves, getting more shares. So all of these four components contribute to more engagement and that is our goal, right? Super. So basically when you ask for engagement, when you get more engagement, what is essentially happening is the algorithm knows that people are commenting, people are engaging with what you're doing and hence they will push it in front of even more people. So you'll get more eyeballs, more reach and more impressions to the same piece of content. And when new people are coming in, it will again impact your engagement, your likes in a positive way. And once that's done, again, the algorithm takes it as a positive feedback and grows. So basically it's all growing into a positive cycle and it's growing bigger and bigger. So if you do that, you will end up with way more likes than you're currently getting. So do try it out. And if you're going to do that, do let me know in the comments because I'd love to know what you're going to implement right away, what you're going to start this weekend, what you're going to start next week. I absolutely love to know what is going on with you guys. So definitely leave me a comment and I will catch up with you. Now, now, now we are there at our fifth tip for today. That is tip five, which is actually very critical and none of it matters. Whatever I've discussed till now, none of it matters if you're not doing this right. So basically this is don't let it get to your head. Don't stress about it. Don't fret about it. Even if you're getting low likes for now, go do the first four tips I've shared with you, but without fretting upon it, without going into the negative cycle of why I'm not getting likes. So essentially, don't stress about it. Leave it aside. Let it all go and just post. If likes are coming in the way for you to post, you need to change something, my friend. Basically, likes are just a metric that is adding up to your overall engagement. If it's stopping you from posting, if it's stopping you from showing up, then Something wrong is happening and I need you to stop doing that immediately. Likes are no way a measure of anyone's success for sure. And I don't want you to let it define yourself. So if it's causing you a trouble, stop measuring likes. Instagram has already removed the likes feature from so many accounts right now. And it's even going to do that with all the accounts, Pan India and throughout the globe. So ensure that you're not stuck into it because they are changing. They don't want you to stress about it. And I absolutely don't want you to stress about it. Use this platform to enjoy, grow, make more money, get more audiences, build a super strong community with your audiences and of course convert. But I don't want you to get stressed on this platform for sure. Yay, we are done discussing our five tips for today that are going to help you get more likes. We're going to start reverse today. So basically tip five and the most important thing ever is don't let it get to you. Basically, don't stress, don't fret it out, let it all go and just post. 
That's super critical. Tip number four now is to ask people for engagement. So basically give them an action that they can take. Always ensure that all your content pieces have a call to action. Okay, quickly moving on to tip number three, which is basically engage before and after you post anything. If you're able to spare 15 minutes, that will be amazing. But if not, you do it for 10 minutes or five minutes before and 15 minutes or 10 minutes after. It's very, very critical. Number two is posting at the time your audience is highly active. Use your Instagram Insights, which is a free tool for that. And number one, tip number one is show real people as much as possible. Try including real humans with yourself and your team and your consumers and your customers showcasing up on your feed. Let it not just be graphics and let it not just be logos. Let it be about real people and people will connect with it even faster. You will see. So what I want you to do right now is just let me know which one of these five are you going to do right now. Yes, right now. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you're not going to make a change, if you're not going to start taking an action differently from today, this video is of no use. And I don't want it to go waste. I want you to go and take that one action that's very necessary. You can pick and choose out of any of these. And I'm okay, absolutely okay if you're choosing the fifth one that is not stressing about likes. That's my favorite, you guys. So just go out there and pick and choose one tip out of these and leave me in a comment and I will get back to you today. I promise on that. And we will continue the conversation in the comment section. I loved to do this video today. I don't know why I'm such a fireball today, even though I'm recording this at 2.30 in the night, but I'm, I'm super charged. I'm loving chatting with you all. So yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like other pieces of content that I do, which are around Instagram, online marketing, building an online business and entrepreneurship. So make sure to check out these two videos right here on your screen. I've put my blood, sweat, tears all into the kind of content I create. And I'd love to get your feedback on the same. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.